What's up everyone, my name is David Arroyo and in this video we're going to be discussing finding an art style. This could be for a project or your personal art style that you want to develop over many years of time uh, and that you tend to use in all of your projects as you go. Um, but it's something interesting to do because an art style, we all have art styles sooner or later. We all end up leaning towards this type of art style or that type of art style. Uh, we all have our preferences that we end up going for. Uh, so it's important to have one, especially because it's the visual aspect of the project that, you know, speaks to people. So this video is about that, about exploring that particular road and about exploring, you know, the journey that comes with it. All right, so let's dive right in and see what we can discover. Okay, so before I begin, I would like to thank the 10,000 plus subscribers that I have on my YouTube channel so far. Uh, I don't know who all of you are, but thank you very, very much for following this content and for subscribing. I hope you will keep enjoying the content as this goes on. Then moving on to finding an art style. Now the images that you are seeing right here are images from established artists who already have a very defined art style. These are artists that I admire myself and that I look up to for inspiration and uh, all kind of uh, things to learn from, right? And this last one is my own from ArtStation. Now, the best way to look at this, at least in my opinion, is to look at finding an art style within individual projects and not as a whole. So here, for example, you see how I have an art style now that is based off of drawings that I did a year before that. And these ones are based off of drawings before that. And then again, ones before that as well, right? So you can see how I tried many different things in order to get a specific look like the one you have here. And this particular final look can also, again, if you remove the line art, for example, you can see the basis of a painting, or if you bring the uh, colors away and you leave the flats and the line art, then you get a more yeah, classy style like what you had in old school comics, right? So the same can be applied for characters, okay? So this is what I did for Inktober 2019, and these are three from there. Now these three characters I took out of there and then I brought them uh, into a classroom uh, where I gave a demo on how to do different colors and stuff like that. So you can see also different styles and they all have different looks. That was all then inspired from this particular webcomic that I did in Inktober of 2017. Okay, also black and white. And I wanted to try something uh, different then uh, with this one, which is the one that I've recently finished. And that's fully in color, same world, same environment, same universe but just a completely different approach. Or again, different art styles, like this one, which is very cartoony, child-friendly, much more vibrant colors, right? These, uh, yeah, you can go from many different ways, like this, for example, uh, where it's just extremely cartoony, uh, like old school comics, to much more realistic stuff like this, which I've also done uh, a demo for uh, students in class where I painted a monster for a concept art uh, lesson. Right. So where do you start? Well, for me, it was having a story or a project. Right. And in my case, it is all about the project of reset. Right. I've written this story that is set in uh, some type of dystopian future fictional world. And it's all based out of that. Right. Script over there. And um, on the right hand side, you see the comic book page, which you can see here and is also available on my website. And so what I suggest that you do is create a fictional world in your head. It doesn't matter what, but try to create an interesting story, interesting characters that the reader will care about uh, and a journey for them to follow. Right. So I find that very important and set it in a believable world could be black and white, could be color like right here. Uh, but I think that's the beginning because an art style starts from there. Right. Once you've got that, then you can start looking at different existing art styles that are already out there. Right. So, for example, for me, it was uh, art uh, of uh, Mina Sundberg, who does a, an amazing webcomic called Stand Still, Stay Silent absolute fan. Uh, then uh, the art of Lee Carter. Also, I always loved his uh, comic art 
uh, at least this style he does different styles but this is my favorite one um, and then it could even come from some marketing campaign like the art for the mass effect trilogy for the uh, new legendary edition right i really loved what they did with that and their look uh, for colors for example i really enjoyed the uh, webcomic um, like a daisy by tracy j butler and obviously uh, a storyboard legend, uh, Dan Milligan, also a massive fan. I love his cinematography, love his shots, and so I get the inspiration from there as well. Now, once you got that, what it was for me, it was learning from these existing art styles, right? So again, this is what I have today, but I didn't always start there, right? My very first uh, comic or page looked like this right and eventually i developed new techniques i learned new things but it all started very very early on this is a drawing from 2014 right and here you can see my next shots which are not actual comics yet but they are different styles that i was trying out which work also well for maybe things like animation or that type of stuff here you can see more like that comic look this was the first time that i actually started working with these really strong contrasts and strong uh, inks and then here again, a typical animation style where uh, your line art is very simple and very uh, clean and your colors are not too complicated. Uh, then again, a bit more into the world of comics again, right? And I even had to take a coloring course in order to improve in colors like what happened here. That was the K. Uh, Michael Russell coloring course. I really recommend it, right? Then I started uh, working with 3D, right? In Blender and seeing how I can use Blender to my benefit and using art styles on that. Here again, used it as well uh, within uh, character development. So 3D characters that I rigged, modeled, all that stuff so that I can draw over it uh, in styles that are, um, you know pleasing for animation for example again here for environments same thing right started with 3d base then started uh, drawing over it and then eventually uh, started playing a little bit more with what if I keep some of the 3d backgrounds like here right and then it has this animation feel again which I really really like as well and then we get to the fourth point which is refine your results okay for me this was very important again if we bring back this example of the faces right so this is the way i was drawing faces around 2014 2015 right i changed a bit 2017 right i was my, my progress was very slow uh, because i was, was working and then here this was i think 2020 then 2021 uh, and then or 2021 I think and then this is recently okay so um, you can see how I kept on refining the the, the, the specifically in this case the, the the colors right trying different things different art styles the line art stayed the same I changed a little bit on the third character but the grand majority of stuff stayed the same it was more in particular for me the colors right trying to find the right coloring style shapes all that type of stuff that worked well the same happened with this comic book page right here right this comic book page has been in the making for a very long time okay i started the storyboards i think somewhere in 2019 2020 something like that and it has been ongoing in the, the whole time not because i've been working on it this long it's just because i've been obviously teaching uh, as a full-time teacher and then at the same time trying to find some moment for it so here you can see the all the, the different versions that uh, were attempted right and you can see how they really differ from the final result which you can see right here and so here we can compare the two side by side the original one that i started off with and the current one right and then the last point number five have patience and enjoy the ride right for me all this research in comics took very long okay when we look at the very first one is from 2016 and the very last one is from recently july 2022 right this was my very first page made back in 2016 i was very proud of it at the time and it's normal right because before that i had done a lot of comics uh, but i've done them just traditionally in sketchbooks and all that type of stuff this was the very first time i had finished a digital page from beginning to end right this was my second page that i also did uh, not long after that and these were all kind of like practice pages if you will for uh, a web comic called immersion that i wanted to do at the time now the interesting thing is that the story of immersion and the story of reset they actually can perfectly coexist within the same world 
And so what I've done now is that I've dropped the immersion uh, story and I've integrated it into the world of reset, which will hopefully over time, as soon as I have more time, uh, become available uh, to you guys. But I just wanted to show you guys these pages here, right? This one was also done not late after that. This one was the fourth page, uh, testing page as well for um, the webcomic called Immersion. This one is also on my YouTube channel. You can see the entire creation of it. The previous one as well, by the way. And this one was done in collaboration with Astropad, which was fun to see how you can work uh, on Clip Studio Paint and Astropad at the same time. It was quite fun, right? Then this one was a kind of fancy medieval type of uh, tryout, right? Where uh, I'm happy with the line art, uh, but, you know, again, um, a lot could have been improved and especially the colors, which is why afterwards I took the coloring course by K. Michael Russell to learn more about colors and improve, right? This was a fun test that I did uh, based off of concept arts of a cowboy saloon. So these ones you can also see on my YouTube channel uh, in the videos. Uh, and it is all about how I conceptualize a cowboy saloon and then eventually I turn it into finished shots or well somewhat finished shots and then here this is another one this is one that I did for my children and also as an example uh, in uh, my journey into making comics and here you can see two different styles I did two different styles uh, in order to show them side by side and why these different styles don't mix together right the one goes well with different uh, type of fi uh, finish and so forth and then finally i think this was in 2017 uh, i started with the reset universe which is the one that uh, i've been hoping to uh, work on ever since and so uh, here this is the second page from that uh, and these were all done um, i think every day was one strip so i did uh, one page in three days. My second page was also done in three days. So I had two pages done in six days and the first strip of page three was done on day seven, right? So this also showed me that if I really had the time and really could, then I could perfectly make a comic book at quite a fast speed. Right, which was an important lesson for me as well at the time. Right, If right now I'm not making comics, it's not because I don't want to. It's more because I have children and I am a full-time teacher and all that stuff, so I'm extremely busy. But if I could, I would most definitely uh, do comics as much as I could. Here you can see the page that just finished in 2022, July, with hopefully more to come soon. And so there you have it, everyone. I hope that this video inspired you to check your own journey in finding an art style, whether it's for your project or for the long term. Uh, hopefully you found anything in here that you were like, oh, I didn't think about that one yet or, oh, I overlooked that one. Uh, maybe I should invest more time into that. It could be anything. And uh, so as usual, uh, if you like this type of content, you can always leave a like, you can subscribe, and uh, I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.